In probability theory, the central limit theorem states that, under certain circumstances, the probability distribution of the scaled mean of a random sample converges to a normal distribution as the sample size increases to infinity. Under stronger assumptions, the Berriesian theorem, or Berriesian inequality, gives a more quantitative result because it also specifies the rate at which this convergence takes place by giving a bound on the maximal error of approximation between the normal distribution and the true distribution of the scaled sample mean. The approximation is measured by the Kolmogorov Smirnov distance. In the case of independent samples, the convergence rate is n minus one half, where n is the sample size and the constant is estimated in terms of the third absolute normalized moments. Statement of the theorem Statements of the theorem vary, as it was independently discovered by two mathematicians, Andrew C. Berry and Carl Gustav Essien, who then, along with other authors, refined it repeatedly over subsequent decades. Identically distributed some ANS1 version, sacrificing generality somewhat for the sake of clarity, is the following. There exists a positive constant C such that if x1, x2, or i, i, d, random variables with E equals 0, E equals sigma 2 greater than 0, and E equals rho less than infinity, and if we define the sample mean, with fn the cumulative distribution function of n phi the cumulative distribution function of the standard normal distribution, then for all x and n, that is, Given a sequence of independent and identically distributed random variables, each having mean zero and positive variance. If additionally the third absolute moment is finite, then the cumulative distribution functions of the standardized sample mean and the standard normal distribution differ by no more than the specified amount. Note that the approximation error for all n is bounded by the order of n minus one half. Calculated values of the constant C have decreased markedly over the years, from the original value of 7.59 by Essene, to 0.7882 by Van Beek, then 0.7655 by Shiganov, then 0.7056 by Shevsova, then 0.7005 by Shevsova, then 0.5894 by Tyurin, then 0.5129 by Korolev and Shevsova, then 0.4785 by Tyurin. The detailed review can be found in the papers Korolev and Shevsova, Korolev and Shevsova. The best estimate is of 2012, update, C less than 0.4748, follows from the inequality due to Shevsova, since sigma 3 rho and 0.33554 less than 0.4748. However, if rho 1.286 sigma 3, then the estimate which is also proved in Shevsova gives an even tighter upper estimate. Essien proved that the constant also satisfies the lower bound non-identically distributed summons let x1, x2, be independent random variables with E equals 0, E equals sigma i2 greater than 0, and E equals rho i less than infinity. Also, let be the normalized nth partial sum. Denote fn the CDF of Sn, and phi the CDF of the standard normal distribution. For the sake of convenience denote in 1941, Andrew C. Berry proved that for all n there exists an absolute constant C1 such that were independently. In 1942, Carl Gustav Essien proved that for all n there exists an absolute constant C0 such that where it is easy to make sure that psi 0 psi 1. Due to this circumstance inequality is conventionally called the Berry-Essien inequality, and the quantity psi zero is called the Lyapunov fraction of the third order. Moreover, in the case where the summons x1, xn have identical distributions and thus the bounds stated by inequalities, and coincide apart from the constant. Regarding CO, obviously, the lower bound established by Essene remains valid.
The upper bounds for CO were subsequently lowered from the original estimate 7.59 due to Essen to 0.9051 due to Zolotarev, 0.7975 due to Van Beek, 0.7915 due to Shiganov, 0.6379 and 0.5606 due to Tyurin and Tyurin. As of 2011, update, the best estimate is 0.5600 obtained by Chevsova.